Hello hopefuls, thanks so much for coming back to my channel today. I hope you all are doing great, staying safe and healthy. And in today's video, I'm just simply sharing how you guys can stop pile fast um, with, with Dollar General and Family Dollar if you don't have paper coupons. So how you can start today, but I'm not urging you to go out to the store, only if you need to go out for essential items then those are the stores that we're going to start with. There are a lot of stores you can have lots of savings with, but we're going to do Dollar General and Family Dollar because they have some digital coupons that I think you guys will enjoy learning at these stores. So let's get started. This video is only going to be like if you're brand new, starting today, newbie tips, not the whole Dollar General policy or Family Dollar. But you always want to make sure that you know and read the store's policy, whichever store that you are couponing at. So first you want to download the Dollar General or the Family Dollar app, whichever one you choose to coupon at, and you want to create an account. I know for Dollar General, I can't remember right now for Family Dollar, for your phone, or whichever device that you're on your laptop, you only can create two accounts for that. So on my phone, I have like my husband's number and then I have my number. The reason why you may want multiple accounts is because once you use that coupon, it's gone. You only can use that coupon one time, that digital coupon. So if you want to stockpile, depending on how many people in your family or who you're shopping for, sometimes I'm shopping for my mom. So I will register a number for her, which I need to do because I pick up some things for her. So if they're going to be using any products, you should register their numbers. So even for your kids, y'all, even for your kids. Also, guys, sign up for Fetch Rewards. Um, when I was doing Instacart, someone in the group told me about this. This is my code that you can use and get 2,000 points. But once you reach like 3,000, that's worth $3 worth in gift cards, 5,000, 10 five dollars in gift cards and so forth so even if you're not a couponer and you're just going to the grocery store you just scan your receipt and you gain points and there are lots and lots of stores you can redeem those gift cards or choose from and you can redeem so like recently i did cvs and i was able to use that on my couponing transaction so you guys feel free if you would like to use my code here you get your two thousand points Okay, guys, now I'm just showing you where you will go and clip your coupons. This is the Dollar General app, and you will just clip the desired coupons that you would like to use. I tend to just about clip all of them, except I think it's like $40 worth of coupons or 40 of them I didn't use, like pets or baby stuff. I would like to stockpile for other people one day for that. But you always want to clip that five off of 25 that is only on Saturdays. So that's why I chose Family Dollar and Dollar General stores to coupon from first because you sometimes Family Dollar has that five off 25. Dollar General has it just about every weekend, but not every weekend. So that's that coupon that you see here at the top. When you're clipping your coupons, make sure that when it flips over, that it loads, that it that it is attached. You will see the check arrow when it is attached because sometimes you can click on it and you go back to it and it didn't attach. So make, double check that. Now, guys, I'm showing you here the red arrow. Always clip this coupon to make sure you have it on Saturday. Here on the yellow arrow, I'm showing you with this circle the dg exclusive coupon that means that this is a store coupon it's not a manufacturer coupons majority of your coupons that you have that you have on your list here or manufacturer coupons but the dollar general coupons which is a little bit more advanced if you want to use that with the five off 25 We'll talk about that in another video, <laughs> but I'm just giving you the difference in the types of coupons just so you'll know. And then the blue arrow is a manufacturer coupon. You can click on show details to tell you the exact sizes. You want to make sure you have the exact size. You don't necessarily have to go by the picture, but the exact size 
in the description. Now again, Dollar General has the 5 off 25 just about every single week. But I know with the pandemic a couple weeks ago, they did not. Um, but just about every once in a while, they won't. But Family Dollar doesn't have it every single week. You just have to check the flyer or you just have to check the app and see if they make it available to you and go and clip it. Make sure you clip it. Now, it's best to wait on on Saturdays to get your best out of pocket because you can use the five off 25 off your purchases, but you can really go any time of the week. There are some people who get the $3 off of 15, which I guess, cause I'm new. I don't get that. They said it's, you know, totally random. It's also a beauty exclusive, like four off of 15 or something like that, which I haven't gotten. So if you can try to wait to Saturday to use the five off 25 with coupons to get your best out of pocket max if you can. So now guys, what I'm showing you now is I want to share with you some people that I follow on Instagram and YouTube that really helped me out, but you're really going to ultimately learn, ultimately learn when you do it for yourself. But take advantage of this time and watch as many videos, look at different scenarios and um, learn other stores so right now i'm trying to learn walgreens so i do little small transactions so this is city coupon mom and she is on instagram and what i will do is i'm gonna put a list of people down in the description box to who i follow and follow them guys because they will really help you a lot i was gonna put a slide up here of everybody but um i'm just gonna list them down in the description box so this is a breakdown scenario of like a deal that you would do in the store. And this is her scenario. And I just um, screenshot it. So this is not my scenario. It's City Coupon Mom. And so here it tells you which store, which is Family Dollar. She has the deal, the date. You're going to use the 5 off 25 coupon. She has the total of what it will be after coupons. She has a picture of everything that you will pick up. But make sure you look at the list that she has there, how many to get, the right ounces, and the total out of pocket will be twenty nine fifteen. But when all your coupons come off, it'll be seven fifteen, and then you have to add tax. She also has like a picture of all of like the coupons that you will clip and use. But you also have to make sure when you go in the store for yourself that they attach. And I have a clip with Dollar General where when you scan the item it'll let you know if that coupon attaches and it's the same for family dollar as well you want to make sure that and you also want to do the breakdown for yourself and watch the prices because you could be off like a couple of cents and you may have to throw in something like i don't know what are they called cow tails or some piece of candy or something like that but usually what i like to do is i'll get something that i know that it's a dollar just in case like toothpaste a toothbrush or dishwasher liquid dish detergent depending on what it is i know all of them are not a dollar but something like that instead of a piece of candy some people you know stick with a piece of candy if they know they haven't reached that 25 dollar threshold because you want that five dollars to come off so i love following her and also i'm getting ready to show natalia saves um, at dollar general and there's several other people i will put them down below i love looking at their scenarios but what i also do is i go by what i need so i pick and choose and i figure out okay what do i need to stock up on I know that I needed to stock up on feminine hygiene. I'm really pretty stocked right now. So that was my concentration. So I will pick and choose out what I want to pick. If I know I need trash bags, I'll concentrate on that. If I know I need to get razors, which was my thing last week, I concentrated on those deals. And then I moved and moved and manipulated stuff around so that my out of pocket was low, but I also concentrated on what I needed for my family. So she has a list here. She has the coupons. She has the store and she has the breakdown. So I absolutely love that. And there are tons of great YouTubers 
that I follow that I like to look at their scenarios and to help me understand a little bit better when I wasn't quite clear. So some of those people, and I'm gonna list them guys, um, Couponing with Star, check out her videos, Greg That Do TV, um, Budget Boss, I think it's Budget Boss, y'all. I'm trying to read off my phone. Budget Boss Coupons, Short Mama Couponer. If I'm wrong, it'll be down in the description box. Tink TV, and I think Savvy Couponer. It's several people, and I'm discovering new people. But just check those people out, and they will really, really help you a whole lot. Um, Minx Couponing Life. I think it's Couponing Life. She is awesome too. I love watching her videos and Dawn's Deals. I just found her yesterday and I really like watching her. So you guys, you know my channel is like about uh, several different things. And so couponing is a full-time job by itself. And then on top of recording it and these people, they be on their job. They're on their money. So I I will share my deals sometimes, I will, especially when the pandemic is over, and I will share like some scenarios every once in a while, but they are really on their money. They're really on, I should say, on point. I should say that. They're really on point, and they will not, um, they will have you up to speed. And before you know it, you'll be making your own scenarios, doing your own deals, trying to get the least out of pocket as possible. I do advise you to buy things that you need. Don't buy it just because it's free, um, because it end up being clutter or not using it unless you can give it away to like the um, food pantry or shelter or anything like that. Okay, guys. This is a deal that I can do this week. I already have these items already, but to stock up, I wanted to show an example too of how um, a matchup. So just like we're in the store. So um, the Oral B is the indicator toothbrush here, and it's two dollars regular price, and then your Crest is two dollars regular price. So both of these have a one dollar digital coupon that will attach and i will show how i scanned it to show you guys how you can double check when you're in the store the glad trash bags are six dollars and fifty cents um in the flyer it's showing two different fragrances but this is the only one that i have seen so far and so far other couponers so if you see the other other kind I guess as long as you got trash bags, you got trash bags. So this is $2 off digital coupon. The Always Discreet, I love these. There is a $2 digital coupon. And when you get more, I wouldn't say advanced, but when you're ready to venture over into paper, then you can use the Procter & Gamble P&G paper coupons to stockpile even more. So these are $3 regular price with a $2 digital, making it a dollar with this Gain Fabric Softener. This will be on the dollar aisle. So Dollar General does have a dollar section and there is a $1 coupon that attaches to this. You can, if you don't want to get, which I don't want to do all the time, get trial sizes or small sizes. I'd rather get a big size because I have a large family. So I have several there, but you want to scan it to make sure that it attaches. And I'm trying to see if I have any other ones. But this does work if you want a smaller out of pocket, which makes it free. But you want to scan it to make sure that it attaches, that any coupon attaches to that product. Okay, this is another example where on the picture, which I'll put up, the Tide, the tide Pods, which are one of these or one of these, it's showing this picture or one of these tides. But it is attaching, meaning it works for the Tide Simply, which is normally cheaper, you guys probably know. So, so the Tide Simply is $2.95. If you want and you don't like and care for Tide Simply, you can get the regular Tide Pods. Um, for two, 
I'm sorry, $4.95. But that $2 off coupon does work and scan digital coupon for the Tide Simply Pie. Okay, y'all, I forgot to say that the Tide Simply Pods is working with the regular Tide $2 off coupon because right now it's a glitch. Every once in a while there are glitches and that's why it's good to follow some of those people that I recommended because they will let you know, but it can stop at any time. So you can try it. Don't feel bad to tell them to put it back, but usually it still continues to work. Tides. So that will make this bag of Tide Simply Pods, 95 cents. You got me, y'all? Okay, the next thing is the Always. So if you need some feminine products, the Always Infinity um, Flex Foam. There are also some other options I think you can get. So just scan and see if it attaches. And if it attaches, it'll show at the bottom once you scan it. So you have to get two, and there are $8.00. And it's a $2 digital off. So with that $2 off digital, and these are $8 both together, they're $4 each, that will make it $6. So what you want to do is when you try not to go over that $25 threshold, you can, you can do what you want to do. But um, the best way to see your best out of pocket is to, to stay at that $25 threshold on Saturdays if you're using that five off of 25. You can get more if you need more, get what you need, but when you're starting out and you may not, you know, you wanna see your out of pocket, try not to go over that $25 threshold because then you'll see your out of pocket. A lot of times, sometimes I do go over, if I have to get something extra like, let's say a soda, or maybe some razors, or I need to get a food product, then I'll do it separately, just so I can see my savings um, a little bit better on my receipt, just for me. And then it won't be no confusion, but just so I can see my savings. So the subtotal for this, guys, should be $25.45. That is the, your price before coupons and before tax. So then they're gonna add tax, and once your coupons come off, it's going to be um, $14.45 um, before the, your $5 off. And then after your $5 off, this should be a grand total of $9.45. And then they have to add tax. So probably around $10 or, yeah, $10 something. Okay, y'all. So that's not bad for all of these products. You can brush your teeth, you got your feminine hygiene products, you got some trash bags, and you can wash your clothes. Y'all. So that's pretty good for this $9.45. And then you can divide that if you want to get real, real technical by how many items that you have. You have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, eight items. There you go. So that is like a dollar and 18 cent per item. Not bad. And you know, you may could get some of it. I was trying to do it cheaper than Dollar Tree and you can, um, but y'all get the point. <laughs> you have some really good quality items for, even though they have them at Dollar Tree too, for a dollar and 18 cents, but there are other savings with other things that you can walk out with it free. Um, for example, for an example, the Lime Away is a dollar. You guys know it, Dollar Tree. But there is a coupon. This is sort of newbie, but it's not newbie. And so I was right in front of my camera. It's a 75 cent coupon that came out a couple of weeks ago. So that makes them a quarter. So my Dollar Tree that's closest to me is not coupon friendly, so I wasn't even going to mess with it. But if yours is, you can get like, use that dollar coupon and get these absolutely free. So I don't mind, you know, um, getting it for a quarter and instead of dealing with the hassle at my local Dollar Tree. Now, they do sell these at Dollar Tree and they do sell these on the dollar out at Dollar General. So sometimes they have a 50 cent off Lysol coupon. You can use with this, you can use with those little small dollar bottles of Lysol at um, 
Dollar General and Dollar Tree, and but we're talking about Dollar General right now at Dollar General, and you can get these for 50 cents. You can get the little bottles of Lysol for 50 cents. If you can't find the big thing of Lysol spray, which I think I have one back there, then you can, those are concentrated, add water, put it in the spray bottle, boom, you got some cleaner. Now I'm showing you guys how you can scan in the store to make sure that that particular coupon attaches to that item. So once you scan it, you'll see here where it has the coupon down below and it will have like the check mark. If the coupon's not down below, then that means that coupon does not work for that particular product. But really, if you just read the description, that'll tell you what it is and what attaches to what when you're in the store. But just to double check, just in case, like if you're going by someone else's scenario or it just won't work for some reason, that happens a lot because it's so many different like Crest toothpastes, for example, or toothpaste. And you just want to make sure you get the right one. Here you see where the tie does work for the Tied simply, but it can go away anytime. But you can use it on the regular Tide pots as well. This does work on the dollar trial size gain softener. Make sure you get the softener and not the detergent on the aisle. So go by your descriptions on your digital coupons or coupon and scan to double check. There's a little shopping cart at the bottom of the app. Okay, y'all, I almost forgot to even tell y'all how to put the coupons in the system. So we'll take your coupons off. So on the keypad, when you are checking out, you'll see this little gray button here or touch button. And you'll just put your phone number in associated with that account you're using your coupons with. So you're going to have to keep it straight if you want to get all fancy and use multiple accounts. Keep it straight. Keep a list or something. But um, just let me know if you have any questions down in the comments about this video or anything. It was a lot. It was a lot to edit y'all in this video. <laughs> oh, Lord, it was a lot. But um, it's worth it. I want you guys to save, save, save and um, get these things that you need safely for your family and save some money because we're definitely going to need it going forward. Also, don't feel like you have to you know, stop power like me or anything like that. If you've been on my channel for a while, you heard me say I used to do this um, back in what started in 2008. And I kind of stopped when I had my channel. I'll tell my whole coupon story another time. But just take your time. Go by the people, number of people you have in your family. Don't buy stuff unnecessarily unless you don't need it. Don't feel like your stockpile has to look like someone else's, someone who doesn't have kids. Their stockpile will look totally different or someone who just had a newborn baby. So I used to get the Pampers and the pull-ups, but you know, I don't need that anymore. Someone that needs, has pets. So just do your, um, you don't even have to really stockpile. Just get what you need when you need it. You can do that too, y'all. So guys, thanks so much again for watching. So guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. There is another quick deal I want to do, but I want to do it in a separate video that you can do if you're brand new and um, just using digital coupons. I want to do it in a separate video because it's not going to be like forever and someone may find this video and be like, I can't do that deal because it's not going to be forever um, because it's just for the next couple of days. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and down in the comments below and don't forget there's always hope especially to save y'all save 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 bye bye